I'm very excited to be spending the week painting a mural in a community garden down in Tower Hamlets. The client has asked for a bunch of animals and plants to be painted on the back wall, so I'm just doing a bit of research into the local wildlife. Luckily there's a park just next door and they've got loads of information on their website. I've been told that there's a robin and a fox that visit the garden regularly, so I think I'll include them. They've also got a bug hotel and a pond, so I'm thinking a beetle and a frog. And lastly, because the garden is used by the Bangladeshi community, I'm thinking of including a gourd, as there's such great shapes and colours. Don't forget that this competition to win these canvases is still going to the 17th of April, so check out my previous video to find out how to win them. So I sent off all my designs and luckily they were all green lit by the client, which is amazing. So all I need to do now is pack up my stuff for tomorrow. Uh, let me show you how I do that. What I usually do for a job like tomorrow's, which is super close, is use the cargo bike. I put all my materials in this box, which is lockable, and on the first day I cycle it there and I keep it there for that duration and then cycle it back. And then in between I'll either use my bike or I'll walk there. Now I found a really nice route along the canals and through some parks, so it's going to be quite a nice commute all week. So the community garden is situated just under Tower Hamlets Cemetery Park, which is where I am now. And it's a real great way to start each morning because I get a chance to see some of the wildlife I'm going to be painting on the walls. Uh, I've already seen a robin and I caught a little glimpse of a fox as well.
So this is it, this is the garden. This is where I'll be spending most of my week. Um, I'm hoping just under a week, but you never know what the weather's like. At the moment, it's glorious, and I think tomorrow's gonna be the same. So, first things first, I'm gonna prep the walls and put some primer on. So it's the start of a new day and I finished the priming yesterday. It took a little longer than I expected just because the walls were so old, it really did soak up a lot of paint. Now, the reason I was using this stick is because when you're on a ladder, it's really difficult to take a step back. And taking a step back is so important when you're working at scale, just to check the balance and the symmetry. So today, all I'm gonna concentrate on is some initial colors, so let's go. So I got most of the initial colors done yesterday. I uh, didn't do a lot of filming, so sorry about that. Uh, because the brick is so old, painting was a little bit time consuming, so I was concentrating on getting that finished by the end of the day. Today, however, uh, a little bit easier. Gonna be doing some highlights and some details. So here we are, it's the last day, and it's just the case of doing any highlights, any cleanups, that sort of thing, any layers that might need some extra coats. Uh, all in all, it's been a really great experience. The weather's been good, although it's dipped a bit in temperature. Uh, what you haven't seen is that throughout the week, there's been some volunteers in, and they've been going about clearing all of the beds. So I think Come spring, summer, when we see a bit of growth, this place is going to look real special. So that's it, another mural finished, and I'm super happy with how this one turned out. Next week I'm actually doing another garden mural, so keep watching for that. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video, and I'll see you next time.